Hey ho! And just what also just amazes me right now is how well <coughs> the whole management of the cables and the belt system here is. How good it is. In, in my opinion. I'm really happy. It was just one run, one printing, taking some measurements and then I printed those parts with my any cubic help. <coughs> And I then just also, I'm pretty happy with this system just sliding over the existing metal parts here. It's not perfect in the way it fits on the with the length. I just had to then do some redesign here. But for now, it, it, it's running really nice, nicely. It just slips onto the metal existing metal holders and raises the whole system and the idea was to also oh, can you see it from here maybe so the idea was to just also slip over it with a small nose as you can see it has a small nose and then also holding the fixing the whole system with those <coughs> holes that with the space that then just goes over the screws but i somehow didn't realize that the whole system here is running from left to right and it was and before that it was crashing into this upper part of the system so I had to just yeah push it a little bit back and now it's running nicely I had I just have to adjust the length of the system and I think I'll upload those parts on Thingiverse as somebody told me but never did this before yeah I'm a pretty new guy to the 3d world but I'm excited I'm an engineer and yeah, I can do this. I did it. I'm happy. Here we have another little issue. issue. <coughs> this, it's the Y motor, I guess. Yes, it's the motor. <coughs> no, it's the Z motor. No, it's the X motor. I'm sorry. This is the X motor. <laughs> yeah. It's the X motor running this belt. And you have to just open up <coughs> this little rice screw. To bring the whole the, the whole thing here out to the maximum position where the belt can run parallel to the whole system otherwise it will just have a problem here it was as you can see there's just yeah may, maybe one millimeter left here yeah, to make this little rice screw fix itself to the motor and in the next version as Tron she said told me they will have a motor with a longer version of this little strut here that holds the um, what's this thing called the wheel yeah. and as you see as you can see I had to I had to fix one screw from the side from the from below because this other screw holding the motor was just blocking this screw <coughs> I couldn't do it I, I couldn't get it in so I just did it from the, <coughs> the bottom maybe there's another idea to do it so but I did it that way and it also helped yeah there was little issues but not a real big problem the whole system somehow running and my idea just to let you know is not to print small really really precise parts what I am trying to do here is printing drums big shells for drum sets I'm a drummer I'm a musician I'm building drums 
friend of mine just started this this business black forest drums manufacturing drums in wood high-end drums really really good things this is our workspace in producing drums yeah and the whole business just went to a hold because of corona and everything the musicians need their money for just surviving uh, oh this young fellow is me this is my flugzeug schule it's my drum studio i'm teaching drums and i'm trying to build drums over here and maybe sell them too but i'm just cu curious and what can be done with this technology and <clears throat> I'm not trying to do a big enterprise a big company for now but we'll see <clears throat> I'm just interested in technology <coughs> sorry <clears throat> and I'm now interested in just recovering from this flu or this problem I had with my <coughs> throat it's not Corona, I'm tested. So, what's the test cube doing? Oh, it's growing. It's still growing. Okay, so, see you in some more minutes.